We know as pilots, it can be a challenge to make the right decision. Sometimes our struggles relate to not having the necessary resources and information to help us be more informed. When it relates to how the weather may impact our flight, there may not be the weather reporting available for the en route, portion, or the destination, making pre-flight go-no-go decisions particularly difficult. Fortunately, there's an invaluable tool, easily accessible online, which often goes unchecked. It is the FAA Weather Camera Program. Did you know the program currently owns and maintains 244 camera systems in Alaska and Hawaii and is continuing expansion in other states? The Weather Camera System also hosts camera images from 280 non-FAA-owned weather camera sites in Alaska, Colorado, Maine, Michigan, Mississippi, Montana, Utah, and across Canada. Each weather camera site typically offers views in the four pilot requested directions with each of the images refreshed every 10 minutes. For reference and validation of image accuracy, a clear day view of each image is also shown. A time-lapse loop covering the previous six hours is also included with each image. In addition, the Weather Camera Program website offers additional information valuable for flight operations, a complete list of camera sites, and instructions and tutorials on how to use the site. No matter how hard and thoroughly we plan and prepare, there is the risk that weather may not cooperate. Don't let weather ruin your next flight because we did not have all the relevant information. See the weather as it is, not as you would like it to be. Use aviation weather cameras to avoid weather surprises. What's up, Rotorheads? I'm pleased to announce that our Spotlight on Safety program is getting a reboot. Now, when you go to rotor.org SOS, you are directed to a brand new layout designed to give you quick access to dozens of dedicated SOS pages, each containing a brief video and related poster you may have come to recognize. And our more recent additions include a companion article, often with more links to other valuable resources related to that specific safety topic. Think of each SOS topic as a ready-to-fly toolkit. Had a recent close call or incident and would like to give your team a refresher that could break the accident chain from continuing unchecked? Chances are we have one ready to go. And finally, a treat for those who are still with me. If you have an idea for a topic that you think will elevate safety in our industry, drop us a line and let us know. If we select your recommendation for a future spotlight, we'll send you and a guest a complimentary floor pass to the next HAI Heli Expo. Send your suggestions to the HAI safety team at safety at rotor.org. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep the rotors turning.